As we age, there are very telltale signs of aging. Um, of course, there's your hair turning gray and wrinkles appearing. And for men, something very common is the enlargement or chronic infections of the prostate gland. So the prostate is a walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis, just in front of the rectum. And it secretes fluid that nourishes and protects sperm. And as men age, they're often affected by prostate problems, including prostate enlargement, chronic prostatitis, or prostate-related pelvic pain. I've known at least three men in my life that I can think of that um, were affected by prostate issues, including my own father. Now, studies have identified elevated levels of inflammatory chemicals in prostate tissue occurring with all of those conditions that I just mentioned, indicating that chronic inflammation is a common denominator among them. And inflammation is also linked to prostate cancer. Now, almost all men experience some degree of prostate enlargement as they get older. That's just natural. Because the urethra, the tube in which the urine flows through, passes through the prostate. And when the gland is enlarged, it exerts pressure upon this tube, impairing the ability to urinate. And the principal symptoms of an enlarged prostate are difficulty at emptying the bladder and more frequent trips to the bathroom which can be annoying during the day, and it can be disturbing to one's sleep at night. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, is another name for an enlarged prostate. In cases of BPH, there is often a high level of the hormone DHT, a powerful and inflammatory form of testosterone. A prostate enlargement can also be a side effect of drugs used to treat other conditions. And these drugs include diuretics, tricyclic antidepressants, opiates, decongestants, and antihistamines. And this is really one of the problems with pharmaceutical drugs, is that their use may mask one symptom, but they usually never bring true healing. But above that, they also cause other unexpected problems, sometimes often serious problems, sometimes even fatal. Now, drugs and natural substances that reduce inflammation also reduce prostate enlargement and also prostatitis and pelvic pain. Symptoms improve when treatment shrinks the swelling of the prostate around the urethra. Prostatitis is the term for an infection of the prostate, which can be caused by bacteria, yeast, and on very rare occasions, uh, viruses. In most cases, the infections are short-lived and can be resolved by a course of antibiotics. Now, of course, very many natural and powerful antibiotics. Now, one of the problems with over-the-counter pharmaceutical antibiotics is that you destroy your natural good bacteria, your good probiotics inside your body, which actually helps to prevent infections. And I've talked about this in uh, a different video about urinary tract infection. It's the same thing with, you know, prostate infection. And even if a course of antibiotics may heal something in the short term, it can actually wreck your immune system, and then the infection becomes chronic or recurring. That's why it's really, it's really important to use natural antibiotics first, and of course it needs to be accompanied with other factors. And that if you do have to turn to pharmaceutical antibiotics, that you replenish your good bacteria with, with probiotics, with some powerful high-potency probiotics. Inflammation of the prostate, no matter the cause, can lead to chronic pelvic pain syndrome, which is often associated with prostatitis and is characterized by pain and pains in the, in the rectum, um, testicles, penis, lower back, and perineum, which is the area between the rectum and the testicles. And this pain can vary from day to day, and it can also vary in intensity. Now, treatment with antibiotics over a long period is often unsuccessful, as I've stated before, and it can have adverse side effects. 
not only can it cause um, chronic or recurring infections, but it can cause other problems as well, not um, seemingly related to prostate. As men age, inflammation increases throughout their bodies, and this contributes to prostate problems. In many cases, chronic or recurring low-grade infections trigger prostate inflammation, which should resolve once the infection is treated. And this isn't just for, for men, um, for, for, for women, and even children as well. When you are sick in general, and you have some kind of infection, other parts of your body that are weak can be triggered, and you know the pain can increase because in general your immune system is lower and, and inflammation is up. Okay, so but if it is caused by temporary illness or infection then the problem should go away after the infection or illness is gone. But sometimes, even after an infection has gone away, the inflammation remains. And this is also part of aging, especially if we haven't been taking care of our bodies. But just because it's part of aging, that doesn't mean that it cannot be alleviated with natural therapies or holistic methods. It can, it can absolutely be helped with holistic and natural therapies. Antibiotics are sometimes used to treat an underlying infection of prostatitis, but also there are two classes of drugs that are used in addition. Number one is alpha blockers, and while these drugs can reduce symptoms within days or weeks, they don't shrink the prostate nor stop its growth. Now, examples of alpha blockers include terazosin or hytrin, doxazosin or cordura, Tamsulosin or Flomax, and low blood pressure, dizziness, headache, and a stuffy or runny nose are among their side effects. And there are other ones, but those are just some of them. Whatever you are taking or may be taking, um, you can go ahead and Google, just Google the name of the drug and uh, read for yourself what the side effects are and see if it's acceptable to you. Now, the second class of drugs used to treat prostate enlargement are 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. And this is also prescribed for hair loss. There's finasteride or proscar and dutasteride or avodart. And these shrink the prostate by altering hormone conversion. But the side effects include loss of sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, and incontinence. And again, these are just some of the side effects, please do your due diligence and look up the full list of your particular medication yourself. It's, it's usually very easily found on Google. I don't trust Google for holistic and natural remedies, but I do, I do use Google for the side effects of drugs or any pharmaceuticals because they don't hide the side effects. They clearly uh, disclose it because, you know, the pharmaceutical companies want to say, look, we told you what the risk was. And it was available for you to know the information, but most people, they, they also rely on most people not taking the time out to look at it or to rely on their doctor. So, you know, whatever the doctor says, doesn't matter if there's side effects or not. If he says to, to do it, people oftentimes they just, they do it. But, you know, my part of my job as a holistic healer is to empower people to understand their own bodies and what they're suffering from and make their own decisions. And you know, it's funny, legally I have to warn people that I don't diagnose or treat or prescribe for diseases. So I have to do that legally, but the problem is if they do go to a standard medical doctor, they're not gonna know anything about the true cause or true um, holistic healing methods. So really my job is to empower people with the knowledge and the confidence they need to take charge of their own health and take their healing into their own hands. Lifestyle changes can help heal your prostate and can help heal almost any disease, in fact. Now these will include avoiding caffeine and alcohol, exercising regularly, uh, not drinking fluids before bedtime, and even doing Kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor. 
It was really funny when I learned that from Dr. Russell Blaylock because I thought that Kegels were only for women. They're really good for women, but apparently for prostate health, they're also very good for men. Now, diet plays a significant role in prostate health and, you know, just general health uh, as well. But many foods can worsen inflammation and increase the risk of infections. These include sugar, inflammatory omega-6 oils such as corn, safflower, sunflower, peanut, and soybean oil. So most vegetable oils and margarines and whatnot are made with these inflammatory oils. I'm going to repeat what they are. It's important that people know, people understand that the typical Western diet gets way too much of these oils. They're very cheap and uh, they, they, we just don't need so much of it. We, we get an, so such an overabundance of it that they're killing us, actually. So we should avoid, you have to read the ingredients. And you have to realize that most things that you're, you know, if you're going to a fast food joint, if you're buying anything packaged, it's probably going to have one of these inflammatory oils, which includes corn, safflower, sunflower, peanut, or soybean oil. So these are widely used in processed and fast foods. Now, in addition, diets high in red meat can also increase inflammation, but I'm not against red meat. However, you know, one of the worst types of red meat that you can eat is, and probably the, the, the reason why red meat can cause inflammation is because we have very sickly animals for the most part that we're eating, which is why it's best to get organic kosher meat. Now, um, also, nutrient-dense vegetables, such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, cauliflower, greens, all you know, different types of greens, leafy greens, garlic, onions, cabbage, and kale. These types of uh, nutrient-dense vegetables reduce inflammation, and they neutralize free radicals. And a great way to get an abundance of it, especially for healing purposes, is to juice these types of vegetables. And they also lower excessive iron levels, which also contribute to prostate problems. Now, I usually make my videos based on the needs of my students, and that's exactly why I started doing this. But um, I want to take time. Start, I want to start, take time with this subject, and so this is this video is just the first that I'm going to make in a series about prostate health. So if you would like um, the full series, um, you know, all the resources where, you know, I talk about herbs, supplements, and more lifestyle hacks to heal the prostate, and we'll cover prostate cancer as well. So if you'd like the full series on prostate health, please go ahead and email me at mime at aruka.com. That's M-A-Y-I-M -M at A-R-U-K-A-H dot com. And, uh, Put as a subject of the email prostate, okay? And I will make sure to send the the complete video resources, and if there are any text resources, uh, I'll, I'll include that as well. Now, if you appreciated this lesson, I'd like to invite you to please like, comment, follow, subscribe, etc., to our channel page, podcast, or whatever you found um, this lesson on and also share it with your friends. And if you're interested in becoming the healer of your home and your community and building a profitable online health coaching business, visit our website at www.aruka.com. That's A-R-U-K-A-H dot com. Shalom. Would you like to become the healer of your home and your community and create a profitable online health coaching business? Are you interested in becoming a health coach, a naturopath, an herbalist, or a nutritionist? Do you need help finding the right program for studying holistic health and healing? Or perhaps you already have certification, but you're still not confident enough in healing people and don't know how to build a business that will empower you to have an impact and allow you to leave your regular day job. Are you ready to get a deep and comprehensive picture of holistic health and healing and learn from top healers in our day so that you can stop being stuck in a job or a career you don't have a passion for? 
Heal yourself and others without the need for pharmaceutical drugs with harmful side effects, doctors, or even dentists. Become more knowledgeable about holistic health and healing than most medical doctors who have graduated from medical school without spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and years of time in expensive medical schools or programs. Build a health coaching business that will allow you to work from home and achieve time, location, and financial freedom. Aruka.com empowers people to become the healers of their home and their community by equipping them with naturopathic herbalism, health coaching, and online business and marketing skills. My name is Maim. I'm 42 years old and a homeschool mom of seven beautiful children. These two in the photo are my October babies. I became a naturopathic herbalist and health coach in order to take charge of my family's health when the modern medical system kept failing us. We were spending thousands of dollars on insurance and other medical expenses, but they did not have any answers for our health problems. Working from home has been such a blessing for us. I used to work at the NASA Ames Research Center as a computer scientist slash engineer, but being able to have an online business has enabled me to surpass my income at NASA and to be there for my family, homeschool them, take care of them, watch them grow up every step of the way for 18 years now. I started Aruka.com in 2009 to help people become healthy and heal themselves. I've coached all sorts of people and eventually even medical doctors and nurses started coming to me repeatedly for help for various health issues for themselves or their loved ones. I help people heal themselves of serious diseases such as cancer, heart disease, and high blood pressure, diabetes, as well as other common issues such as hormone imbalances, abnormal bleeding, migraines, eczema, kidney stones, gallstones, cataracts, and even urinary tract infection. Various people began asking me to start teaching what I know about holistic health and healing, including two medical doctors who have become very good friends of mine. When I realized that there was such a demand for the knowledge I have that even medical doctors were telling me to teach, I shifted the focus of Aruka.com, and now we teach people how to become confident healers through our naturopathic herbalist and health coach certification program. We help people become healers of their home and community and create profitable online health coaching businesses. If you're interested in becoming a holistic healer, please visit our website, aruka.com, A-R-U-K-A-H.com. Again, that's A-R-U-K-A-H.com. Hope to see you there.